All right, it is July 1st, 2023 in Zone 3A Container Garden in an industrial area. We're going to have a quick rundown and I want to talk a little bit about uh, prepping your beds <clears throat> and the difference between prepping and non-prepping. So, uh, first off here we got the, uh, the new weed bed. This is the first weed bed as soon as you come around the corner. It's going to be popping off here very quickly. You can see all the, uh, the buds for the poppies. And we've got a few of these growing here. I don't know what they are. And we got some of these. So this is mostly poppy seeds I threw in here and I threw in a packet of uh, what they call wildflowers. So um, this is a bush type squash. It's going great. And here's where we talk about bed prep. I didn't prep this bed for corn. And you can see the corn is, I'd say probably three and a half feet, no more than four feet tall and uh it's doing all right but this is the corn this is uh bloody butcher den corn and it grows to over 14 feet high so the first year i grew this corn it was insane but i prepped the bed this year i didn't think any any would germinate so i didn't prep the bed and this is what i get so right now they're only about three and a half four feet high uh carrots are doing fine beets are doing fine more beets see here i'm trying to grow some uh some seeds for next year onion seeds so these are last year's onions I put in here focus these are going to be the uh, flowering heads and then seeds see how the uh, the onions split into five separate onions and then uh, it's growing up actually there's no flowers spikes on any of those four flower spikes are all on this plant and this plant hmm. All right, um, these are first year onions. So these are the ones that are gonna produce actual onions. More carrots, more carrots. These are zucchini. See the zucchini overhangs the water fountain I put in here. And this is the second weed bed. And you can see, I don't know what those vines are. If anyone knows, comment below. But uh, the poppies are doing fine. These are, uh, Blue bread, blue bread poppy, blue bread, blue bread poppies, I believe. They make the uh, poppy seeds you find on poppy seed bagels. Usually the heads are much bigger, but just these plants are smaller this year. I think I planted them too close together. I just spread the seeds, so the flowers are a little smaller. But we got the uh, other types of poppies in the back. The vines have completely overwhelmed the peacock pinwheel. Uh, potatoes are doing just fine. They're huge, massive even. More carrots, house plants. These are the rutabagas. They're actually big enough to fight off the flea beetles now, so I don't really have to worry about them. I don't know if they're packed too close together. Next year, I think I'm just gonna do three rows of three per bin and I'll have nine rutabagas per bin. Um, right now I believe I have somewhere around 12. <clears throat> Cucumbers, Market More 76's, doing just fine. Another bush style squash, doing just fine. Not as big as the other one, but it's a different, different type of squash. So um, my jalapenos have started from seed, are doing great. I got lots of weeds growing in there too. And in the back, got some milkweed that is just about to flower. Lettuce I'm pulling out today. I'm done with it. I don't know why I grow lettuce. No one eats it. Um, what did I harvest here? I harvested the, uh, the radishes and then planted carrots. And you can see they are germinating. More rutabagas. I'll see down below. So I don't have any big... Big rutabagas yet. Broccoli did great this year. I bought these from the store, um, the starts, and I've been harvesting them. Harvested a bunch yesterday too. Tomatoes doing tomato things. I don't know. I'm not paying too much attention to them this year. Another bit of potatoes. Celery, celery. Cabbages are doing great. You want to see the cabbages? Hold on. Yeah. Look at that. 
I can't see the screen on my phone, so I don't know what you're looking at. But yeah, cabbage is doing fine. Uh, carrots again. These are peppers I bought at the store to start, so they're not doing half as well as the ones I started from seed. And these are the corn in the bed that I prepped. They are well over five feet high. Um, they only get to somewhere around eight, if that. And you see they're starting to tassel up there. So I'd say maybe, maybe they're even close to six feet right now. So how do I prep my bed for corn? Don't know where I saw this online, but I read it somewhere years ago. So what I do is a month before I know I'm going to be planting the corn out, I start watering the bed. It is a raised bed, as you all know. These are container gardens. I start watering the bed, get the bed nice and nice and moist, keep it moist, and then I add a whole bunch of chicken manure and blood meal, and I mix that in, and I water it in. I water it every day, and I keep it. It allows the uh, chicken manure and the blood meal to start breaking down, and from what I understand start bringing down to a form that the corn can use almost immediately when I plant it out because from what I understand I'm not a professional but you throw some chicken manure on there or some uh, blood meal and they don't uh, it's not in a form that the corn can use right away so there's a the difference between bed prep over six feet high and this is the short corn and then only about three and a half four feet high and that's the tall corn so I don't know if my bloody butcher den corn is going to get 14 feet high this year, but we'll see. You can see I have the beans growing up over the uh, trellis. These are scarlet runner beans. If anyone knows how to cook scarlet runner beans, comment below. I don't like beans, but I'd like to eat them. Uh, pumpkins, doing fine. These are the warty gnomes. Peas over here. Oh, I got some uh, blue potted shelling peas starting. They're more like purple. I don't know, I can't see my screen, but hopefully you can see that. So I got some shelling peas started. They got nice uh, nice purple flowers too. See if we can show that. Uh, these are the, what are these? These are the other pumpkins. The porcelain dolls starting to climb out of their bin. This is some weird aster that I'm just letting go to seed. It's not a dandelion, but it's like one. Look at the size of that. Um, this is a, a junk bed. I got some sunflower seeds to germinate here. I threw a corn in there. A couple uh, onions from last year. If they make seeds, great. I'm fine with that. Uh, onions I never planted, tomatoes I never planted. There's a radish that somehow managed to stay alive. And then uh, this is the sunflower bins. All three of these are sunflowers. I threw some extra corn in here just for fun. I had them, so why not? And uh, yeah, so that's a zone a 3A container garden. Look at the size of that corn, man. And that's the short corn. July 1st, 2023.